Let me ask a question. When's the last time you went to a hardware store? Maybe at Home Depot or Lowe's? Were you just there to shop around for some tools? Just figured you'd do some, some tool shopping? Or are you there because you had a specific project that required a specific tool in order to be completed? My guess is the latter. My guess is that you probably had some home project that you were working on, or your spouse asked you to work on, and it required maybe a special tool or uh, a, a series of tools that you needed to perform the job and, and complete the project. Why does this matter and how does this apply to software sales? Allow me to share with you something that I refer to as the golden rule of selling technology. He who buys a shovel or she who buys a shovel doesn't want a shovel. They want a hole, but they don't just want a hole. They want a fence or they want a tree, but they don't just want a fence or a tree. They want privacy or they want shade or they want flowers or they want fruit. But the mistake that we make in software sales is we fall so in love with our shiny shovels we want to show up and just talk about our shiny shovels and how wonderful our shovels are and not the project that people are or the objectives that people are trying to complete. My name is Chris White, author of The Six Habits of Highly Effective Sales Engineers and creator of DemoDoctor.com, a website dedicated to the growth and development of technical pre-sales professionals. So how do we do this? How do we take our focus off of our shiny shovels and focus more on what our customers and our prospects are trying to do. I think there's three steps that we can take. First and foremost is to engage in discovery in the early part of a sales opportunity. When a, when a customer or when one of our sales counterparts comes to us and asks us to engage with a demonstration, a technical presentation, we need to make sure that we ask the, the appropriate questions and probe first with our sales counterpart to understand what are their objectives, what are they trying to accomplish, what are some of the specifics, and get engaged with discovery with the customer and with the prospect. We wanna make sure that we understand what is it that they're trying to accomplish so that we can give a demo accordingly. The second is in preparation for that demo, we need to make sure that we build the story around what it is that they're trying to accomplish. Focus less on the features and the functions of your platform and focus completely on how is it that, that, that your solution, your platform is going to help your, your customer, your prospect achieve that objective or meet those requirements. And then third, when you, when you deliver your demonstration, do so in the context of telling a story. And the story should always start with their objective in the context of what they're trying to do and making them the hero of the story. Your product should be a, a side story. Your product should simply be the means to get them to the, to the objective that they're trying to get to. Your product should not be the star of the show. So keep this in mind next week. If you have any demonstrations coming up, remember, focus not on your shiny shovel. Focus on what they are trying to accomplish and show them how your solution is going to help get them there. As always, remember, people buy from people and sales is a team sport. Develop healthy habits so you can consistently deliver winning demonstrations. We'll see you next time.